Do you hate all inclusive resorts because you had a really bad experience at one? Well, in our 35 years of traveling to all inclusives, we've had some bad experiences as well. Yes, yeah, stay tuned and you'll see the ones we recommend and some of the ones that we won't ever step foot in again. Let us tell you the reason that we hate all-inclusive resorts and what changed our minds. Reason number one is cheap or poorly maintained rooms or accommodations. You know, we have been to some resorts where the fabric was torn, the bedspreads or the comforters just looked ragged, where the amenities were really poor. They had super cheap amenities, if any. And then they had really cheap quality bed linens. Have you ever gotten in a bed in a hotel and the, it felt like sandpaper? <laughs> We've been to a few of those. <laughs> and then cheap quality towels is another one. No, it's a big one, a big one. But there's many five-star all-inclusive resorts in the market today, especially in Mexico and the Caribbean. And to give you a few examples, think about this. Hyatt, Marriott, and Hilton have all come into the all-inclusive market. Before that, there was many, many brands that you hadn't heard of, but they're all five-star. Yeah, and those brands command quality. They do, they yeah, do. People aren't gonna return if they don't, and they're not gonna keep their reputation if they don't maintain quality. So, the second reason why we have had some really bad experiences at All Inclusives is too many buffets. I'll just say the food. The food was just really poor quality and then the buffets in those i'm it, not a fan of buffets i, I know you're not i yeah. do not like buffets at all yeah and these were like uh big trays of food that probably hadn't been turned over in a couple of hours flies you know around uh and the restaurants were hot you know i i just can't stand that i'm yeah i'm not a prima donna but I like to be comfortable when I'm on vacation and I like some good food. Absolutely. I, I, you know, a lot of people choose their hotel based on the beach or the swimming pool or the room. Me, I choose it on the service and the quality of food. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. The all-inclusive resorts that we recommend, first of all, have a la carte restaurants with no limits to the numbers that you can dine at. Second, they have trained, experienced chefs that most of them compete internationally. And you'll get that true culinary experience whenever you go to one of these resorts. Example like that would be Charisma Resorts and their Gourmet Inclusive. I mean, you just can't beat them. You can't beat them. The food is so good. And you're bound to find something that you'll love. And you know, the good thing about All Inclusives is if you get something you don't like, you can order something else and you're not out any extra money. There you go. Yeah, so try things when you're there. Please comment below and tell us any experiences you've had at hotels where you had really poor quality or really great quality food. Yeah, tell we us We want to know what you think. Well, another reason that all inclusive get a bad rap is cheap alcohol. I mean, you've heard the rumors of some of the resorts serving watered down or cheap alcohol. Ever been to a resort where you looked at the bar and you looked up on the shelf there and you didn't recognize one single brand? Well, at your top all-inclusives, you're going to look at that shelf and you're going to see brands that you recognize. You're going to see brands that you'd be willing to drink at home, especially when you're on vacation, you want to drink those as well. Yeah, and they're going to have mix up, trained mixologists, right? They are. They are. Yeah. And, and a lot of the resorts that we work with have a full mixology program. Which is super fun because you'll get to taste drinks and flavors that you haven't tasted before with some of the top shelf um, brands. I mean, one of the things that we love about the Eldorado brand yeah. is the fact that they have little pop-up bars. Oh, I love that. I mean, they have one that rolls up and down the beach, down the boardwalk area, mm -hmm. doing uh, margaritas. Mes sometimes mescalita. they do Sometimes they do mezcalitas. Uh, they also have a gin, gin cart. Yes. A gin cart that goes up and down the, the boardwalk. Yeah. And then they set up little pop-up places throughout the property. Yeah. Yeah, that's for food too, but, no, they never yeah, but they also do it for drinks yeah. and it's very, very classy. So the, the fourth reason why you might have had a bad experience and why we couldn't stand all inclusives for a long time was poor service. Yes. You know, all inclusives have come a long, long way. And, and some of the, some of the cheaper all inclusives, they don't put their people through good training. Right. Um, they don't spend the money on training. 
They just hire whoever they can. They get them in there just to have a body that's going to serve you. The staff to guest ratio is completely different. Uh, it's much, much lower staff to guest ratio at your cheaper all-inclusive. At your higher end all-inclusive, it's going to be more staff to, to guest ratio. Yeah, and a lot of times what happens with these employees is the rules are the rules and they don't think on their own. They're not empowered to think on their own. Um, at the higher end resorts, like for instance, we ask for a glass of iced tea. At one of the lower end resorts, they may say, and we say unsweetened. At the lower end resorts, they would probably say we don't have any and br or bring us anyway what we didn't order. Right. However, yeah. at the higher end, you know, it, they want to have it your way. They'll they want to make it your way. They are going to figure out a way. To get you iced tea. Yeah, one time Randy wanted some chocolate ice cream. He's a chocolate ice cream lover at a Charisma Resort. Especially in Mexico because yeah. they have the best chocolate. Yeah, at a Charisma, a Charisma Resort. And the waiter was gone for quite a while. First, you know, and then we realized, one of the other waiters, that he had gone to another restaurant to get us chocolate ice cream. So that's the kind of service you're going to get Absolutely. at the gourmet inclusive resorts. Well, and all resorts that are that are five that are, yeah, that five are good star. five star quality. Yeah. Uh, be sure to comment below and tell us about your favorite all inclusive resort that you've been to. If you're ready to plan your next vacation getaway, check out one of our partner links down below because we are solid partners with Funjet Vacations and United Vacations and you can click on that and you can price out and book your next getaway right here in this YouTube video. And be sure to check out our other videos and we'll see you in one of those.